Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is Fibonari. Fibonari, as you can uh, guess from its name, it is uh, a combination of the Fibonacci sequence and binary puzzles. And this uh, puzzle um, was created after uh, an idea of Bram Cohen. Bram asked the question, we have all these exponential puzzles, binary puzzles, where they grow, where the number of moves grows exponentially with the number of pieces. Can we have an exponential puzzle where the base is not an integer? So not binary, two, ternary, three or quaternary, four, but a number that is not an integer. And when thinking about this question, uh, I and also others immediately thought of the golden ratio, the Fibonacci series, 1.6, uh, 1.8, 0, 3, 3, etc. Uh, this is a very famous uh, number um, and it turns up in many places. And uh, uh, the way to create a Fibonacci series is with addition. So let me first show you how the mechanism works and then tell you a bit more about uh, um, the, yeah, the, how, how it's Fibonacci. So the top uh, uh, rotor, it can always rotate. Um, so let me show you a rotation. Um, here it goes to the right. And after one turn, what we see what has changed is the middle indicator. So the middle indicator is uh, now at the left side. I'm going to rotate it back. And now it's at the right side. And this is something that is achieved with uh, the mechanism that's in here. That's a bit hard uh, to see. But uh, anyway, so for the top one, there are no limitations. You can go left and right. And that's it. However, the rule becomes already more difficult for the next one because the next one, it has the same rule. It can turn right and left, but this one can only turn right if this one is in the other state. So if I now try, try to turn it right, it blocks because of the gearing mechanism. So we first need to turn this one right such that um, the indicator points to the left. Now we turn this one. And here we see a gearing mechanism and now this one has been turned to the right again. So I'm doing this turn again and now the sequence repeats with the yellow one. So the yellow one I can turn to the right because of the indicator is to the right and the other two are to the left. So I can turn and rotate and what we see is the indicators you saw them change here. So if we want to turn the green one, we need to have the orange one turned. But the orange one can only be turned when the red one is turned. So let's turn the red one, then we turn the orange one. Um, and now we should be able to turn the green one. And there we go. You see the green one uh, turns. So how does this uh, relate to the uh, Fibonacci sequence? Um, we have an, uh, an adding mechanism. So what we're doing is adding. So here we have three gears and the two bottom gears control the top gear. So when I turn this gear, you see... Oops, wait, I need to get things aligned. Yeah, there we are. When we uh, turn uh, the left gear, we see the top gear rotate. But when we turn the right gear, we see the top gear rotate as well. So this me mechanism achieves addition. Uh, the number of turns for this gear is the equal of this one plus that one. So let's get to Fibonacci. We want to get the uh, turn the purple one one time. So do the adding, so we need to uh, turn the blue one one time. So the green one is one, one plus one, that's two. This green one is one plus two, that's three. Two plus three is five. Three plus five is eight. 
um, 8 plus 5 is 13, and then, um, no, uh, yeah, and then 8 plus 13 is 21. So this one should be uh, moved ultimately 21 times in order to get the purple one uh, turning. So what we have uh, developed here is a mechanism that uh, varies for the usual exponential puzzles. They use uh, a gray coat um, or a, a variation to the gray coat to solve. And here uh, we have uh, our solution sequence is a Fibonacci sequence. So my question to you is what other puzzle or puzzles do you know where the Fibonacci sequence happens to turn up? Thank you for watching.